Britain's best gymnast is Anna Carida. She made history two years ago when she became the first British female gymnast to reach a European final. That was on floor. She then went on to become England's youngest gold medalist at the Commonwealth Games. Anna Carida, thanks for joining us on BGTV. Um, You're welcome. A fantastic career. Going back to the start of your career, how did you first get into gymnastics? I started when I was three. Uh, my oldest sister, who's two years older than me, she was a, a rather lively child. <laughs> and uh, one of my mum's friends suggested she went to gymnastics just to try and calm her down, wear her out, use a bit of energy up. And anything she did, I said, and me. But um, I went there and I must have enjoyed it. And a lot of the coaches saw talent in me within the first sort of few months. I then actually moved on to a better gym club straight away. And from there, at the age of six, I was with the coach that I was with throughout my whole gym career. So um, looking at the gymnastics in general, it, a lot's changed since you competed with the code of points change and things. What, what do you think about that, that change? And how do you see current gymnasts compared to the gymnastics that you competed with? I actually think it's probably for the better. <laughs> Because I know that your routines can be, you know, you can do as much as you want and try to cram as many moves into the routine. And the more you can get in, the more marks you're going to get. These days, there's so many top gymnasts and they seem to be coming from all different countries as well now. Whereas before it was mainly Russia and Romania. Whereas these days, like the Americans do so well, the Chinese do so well. And I mean, like say, the British are doing so well. The Europeans and the Olympics this year, obviously, for the British girls. Um, the Europeans, what memories have you got of those? You obviously did well in Birmingham. So here is the British champion, Annika Rida. And the first piece of apparatus for the British is the floor. Um, yeah, I finished 13th um, all round, which is the best result at the time that any British gymnast had done. So for me, that was a great achievement. Obviously, people are doing better nowadays. We've got Beth Tweddle, who's done extremely well for the country. And we've got some of the real young ones up and coming, which will hopefully sort of get soon into the medals as well. So. The choreography, the presence. Always been a fabulous time. So what kind of memories have you got of uh, these events, the Olympics in particular? Um, just lots of memories, um, you know, trying my best at the competitions and every competition trying to improve on my results from the last one. Um, winning medals at Commonwealth Games was one of the best achievements, but also taking part in the Olympic Games was a, a great achievement as well. Um, and just, you know, the memories of being there and taking part and competing for my country. And the Commonwealth Games, obviously, is where you won the, the medals. So those are the, the medals that really stand out from your career, the ones that you hang up on your wall at home and look at. I managed to save a couple, but um, oh, there's just so many. You end up with uh, too many medals, too many trophies, so they have to be hidden away for a while. But I kept out the, the three main ones from the Commonwealth Games uh, that I won in 98 at Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. yeah. So when was it that you retired and how did you come to that decision? Um, I retired when I was just 21 and it was just after Sydney Olympics and I was actually probably at my best at the time um, and I was quite lucky throughout my whole career that I didn't actually have any serious injuries so I thought the time's come to call it a day. So um, how much interest do you take now in the top level gymnastics and the British team for example? Um, I try to keep up to date with it all, I'm obviously very busy coaching so I'm back in the gym five times a week at Heathrow coaching there with little five, six, seven and eight year olds and I also teach at schools and I do 13 classes a week at schools so I'm still very much involved in it. I did give myself a break for about a year but um, I realised that gymnastics is my life and I missed it so I had to get back in. So is one day maybe your ambition to get you know, to move on and get another senior gymnast that you've coached, maybe? Um, possibly. I'm not, not at the moment, but maybe in a few years' time I'd like to sort of try to teach the higher-class gymnasts and perhaps one day get one gymnast to the Olympics. Well, the British team, Beth Tweddle, is obviously, obviously must impress you, but uh, what do you think of the other girls? Obviously there's Rebecca Wing here at Heathrow. Oh, she's doing fantastic and she looks so lovely to watch as well, so it's such nice, neat lines on the bars and just all-round good gymnast. Okay. Well, we've actually got a little surprise for you because um, we've got some of your routines from yesteryear on the computer, so okay. uh, we'll take a look at those. Okay. Can you remember this competition? I haven't got a clue. This is um, Birmingham 96. Okay, yes, Miles. yes, it does. I actually was pretty worn out at this competition and um, I think I had a bit of a strop on in warm-up <laughs> and actually didn't really want to compete because we just had sort of all trials for the Olympics and I was so worn out, I just wanted to go home, see my family. Um, but I actually had a really good competition, so I think, um, for me, I probably was better not to do a very good warm-up, and then I'd compete really well. 
But I wouldn't advise that to everyone. <laughs> The half twist through the double twist punch front, the tumbling to match your increasing elegance. So, Annika, thanks very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed uh, walking down memory lane. Very much so, and it's lovely that you've invited me here. Thank you.